Grizzlebolt. Come here, buddy. Whoa! Dude, calm down! That is pure awesomeness. And look at the speed. That is nutty. Oh, that is too cool. It's truly worth the wait. Holy crap, is this good. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Power World! That's right! Hope everyone is doing well today, because me, I am doing absolutely phenomenal. Lots gone on since last episode. For one, I finally finished the Frost Stallion Nocturnal. It is perfect, absolutely perfect, all the abilities and perfect IVs. Well, I went ahead, I took that Frost Stallion, and I started breeding it with our Shadow Beak, which is also perfect in all the same ways, and that yielded me another new pal. Yes, we have seen this pal before, but we did not have anything that was all that good. Well... This one is perfect IVs, all the stats perfect, and has all the best moves. So, pretty stinking cool. I'm in the uh, process, since we only have a female version, I'm in the process of trying to get a male so that we can have, you know, both for future projects. But uh, also, I want to get it condensed all the way. So hopefully that can happen today. I've been working on it for quite a while now. So that's pretty cool. Still uh, working on the Lunares. They have been kind of tricky. They, they have not been progressing as quickly as I like. But we're getting super duper close. All I really need to do is I've got three out of the four abilities and all perfect stats. So I got two of them that are working. And um, again, hopefully that's something that can happen at some point today or very, very soon. Boom. So um, anyway, we'll see. This is actually the first egg from uh, these two. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it would have been so epic if we had that finished. Anyway. Things going on today. I wanted to take on all the bosses because we still have um, quite a few boss towers that we have not yet finished. But since some of our fighters are actually, you know, I got them breeding. Why don't we work on completing our Paldax today? Like we are close. We are super close. There's only a few pals that we have left and incomplete. So it looks like about 10 of them because I think we've seen every single pal. Why don't we start banging through the list? And I don't know. It would be pretty epic if we could get that completed. So let's set on out. I think um, one of the first ones. Why don't we go and see if we can snag up the Gobfin. I think it's Gobfin Ignis. Yeah, let's go see if we can do that one first. So let's head on over to the volcanic area. All right, here we are. And we got two of them just chilling. Let's go ahead. I'm a little afraid that our um, Kyogre would take him out too quickly. All right, one is ready. Let's see, pal ball wise. Do you think a Giga would do it? 11%. All right, well, let's move on up. There we go. That's close enough. All right, one down. Hopefully, let's get this other guy too. Come on. Bada boom. All right, that one, that one. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. I have faith. And oh, this guy is tricky. Come on, buddy. It's because he's a little bit higher level. You are driving me nuts. All right, let's see if we can get his health down just a little bit more. There we go. And... Complete. Beautiful. I do not have a Blaze Hal yet. So let's go ahead, take care of that. Come on, buddy. These guys are pretty, pretty common over here. All right, beautiful. And... 
Let's see. This one's a little bit higher level. All right. Next spear. By the way, in the update, a lot of cool things happen. For one, finally, these launchers work the way they're supposed to. So I am pretty psyched about that. They also made it for um, pals that are previously condensed. They will count through their condensed numbers. So if you have one that's got one star, it's going to give you four into the next pal that you want to condense, which has been extremely helpful in clearing up box space. But anyway, um, we got Blaze Hal, so that's two down. And, ooh, let me just mark off this dungeon. This is another thing that I've really not done much this season, just because the dungeons aren't always as quick and easy to do for video. But what it has prevented me from doing is getting loads of boss loot and finding uh, super rare pals that are inside. So something to think about. Anyway, once again, I'll see you over at the next one. What do we have? Oh, oh, okay. I know we don't need them, but I kind of feel like I want to try. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty close. And we're about to run out of stamina. Come on, buddy. Let's see what the catch rate looks like now. Dude, that is super low. Oh my goodness. Ooh, promising. Yeah, baby. Dude, we did it. We did it. Very nice. All right. That, imagine that. Capturing every single lucky there is. That would be pretty cool. All right, we have next up Sweepa and Swee. So this is only a level 11. I might be able to just straight catch this guy right away. Um, let's see, with an Ultra Ball, 79%. I went back to the base and I crafted up a whole bunch more Pal Balls. And got it! Epic. All right, save us a little bit of time. And then let's see, for these dudes... The normal pal ball, it's probably a little unlikely. Let's move up to mega, 34%. Ooh, and a back bonus. Come on. And, oh, you little turd. All right. Got it. Beautiful. And got it. Love it. All right, we got our Swee. Let's carry on to the next one. I think for another one, wasn't this one a boss somewhere? I kind of feel like it might be. I might look into that, but it said there was no location for it. So let's go see if that's a thing. Oh, it is a boss and I have not taken it on yet. Um. I kind of find that hard to believe, except for, I think this guy, I have a suspicion it might be in this cave over here. So why don't we go check this out? Come here, give me, give me. All right. I wonder how many of those effigies are actually on the map in total. There's got to be a lot of them. All right, let's see. All right, this is good. This is good that it curves around this way because this is the general direction that this guy's supposed to be. All right, let's dismount. So it's a level 30 boss, so it's going to be able to put up somewhat of a fight. Let's see. Wow, this is a long little cave here. Come on. And... Holy cow, this is a long one. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Um, Who should we have out for this? I kind of feel like I should be mounted. I'm, I'm... Come here, come here. Let's see how much I do with just shooting them. 
That's a pretty good amount. Ooh. Come on. We have good enough gear and everything that it doesn't really matter. We can take the punishment, but this guy is super rare. So I do not want to have the chance of losing him. All right, get it down. All right, let's try it from there. Let's go up to there. 73%, 84 with the effigies. And we got it. Epic. All right. Let's see what it's got in his little chest. Nice. All right. Ooh, defense pendant. Is that, but it's a tier one defense pendant. But I think that might be my first defense pendant. I've got attack. I've got life. But there we go. Defense. Not bad. And I should have had this equipped. Not sure why it wasn't. All right, let's carry on to the next. Um, let's go take on the Masanda Lux boss. And get that out of the way, unless it's nighttime. Ooh, I hope this isn't a problem. Look at him. He's stuck in the ground. Okay, okay. There we go. It's a level 31. And uh, it's not the... All right, let's, let's go ahead. How much damage would we do to him? He's probably going to resist us. But, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, uh, we clear through him super quick. Dude, look at him run! Oh, oh, oh. Don't want that hitting us. All right. Dodging all right. Come on, buddy. Get him just a little bit lower because I'm going to use an Ultra Ball. All right, right there. 82% chance. We got this. Come on. Beautiful. All right, we got him. Now, I seem to remember Catrus. Isn't Catrus a uh, a boss as well? Because I think we have fought her before. And that, uh, that might be a lot easier than finding her. I don't know how common she is, but she's only a night pal. And it is currently daytime. So let's go ahead and see if we can take on the boss. All right. It's becoming night. So I think we should uh, start searching for the hangus. Um, I just stopped by the uh, crystal base because I haven't shown it in a while, but also it is over in the area they like to spawn. Check out all the quartz that we have. That is nutty. Absolutely nutty. Um, we could probably close down this base. I, that's probably more quartz than I'm going to need for the entire season. But um, yeah, it is been doing well. Um, let's go ahead and let's see if we can find this guy. It's basically anywhere over on this winter uh, biome that these guys hang out. So let's see if we can locate one. I'm going to actually head on over to some of the easier areas. Oh, no, we're getting cold. All right, there we go. There we go. Kind of surprised we haven't got this guy yet. Oh, oh. I think, yep, there they are. There they are. All right, Um, right, I'm going to fire at one of them just to see if I, yep, I take it out. All right, let's do it the old-fashioned way. All right. Come on. Oh, 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 that was close. That was super close. All right, that's pretty low chance. A giga... Yeah, we're probably going to have to go with ultras. There we go. All right, male and a female, if we can get them. All right, got it for the Paldax, and there we go. We got them both. Awesome. All right, is there any other nighttime pals that we need to go after? 
let's hurry up and look through this. So I think that was the final one there. So I guess it's just Catrice. Going through. Um. All right, this guy's out day and night, so we don't have to rush. So Catrice would be over in the center area. I don't know if we're going to make it in time. Let's just see any others. And that one, there is the boss. I don't know if Grizzlebolt is a nighttime guy. It's possible that he is, but, you know, it's usually one of the, uh, you know, like sub variants. I don't know. I don't think we'd make it to that island in time. So why don't we go searching for Catrice? Funny enough, the uh, the spot that it likes to spawn is where our metal base is. And just to give you a little look-see, yeah, doing well. We have way more resources than we're ever going to need. Anyway, um, let's first try here. We'll still take on the boss no matter what, but... Oh, crap. All right, we'll just deal with it. Let's see if we can find her. I don't know if we're going to be lucky enough. Basically, we got to look for a pal that's not asleep. Oh, look at all those little guys. Do the free pal alliance? They don't sleep. Come on, guys. Why aren't you sleeping? Oh, I found one. All right. Come here. All right. Should be good. That's 100% off the bat with an ultra. Beautiful! All right. I'm going to keep hunting just while it's night, but then let's go take on the boss. Ooh, look at the chest. All right. Let's try for the Catrus boss. Enter dungeon. Come on. And here we go. So we've taken her on before in the past, but I think we, uh, we hit a little too hard. All right, come on. We can take whatever she throws at us. That's probably good enough. All right. 90%. And got her phantasmal feline. I love it. Does she have a chest? Not seeing one. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, wells. Oh, wells. All right. So who does that leave us with in the Paldax now? So we have her defeated. I think everyone prior is done. Yup, yup, yup. So we have Electra Buzz. Be kind of fun to save the best for last. Let's see here. Yeah, so Surfing, we got to do. That should be an easy enough one. That's going to be over in the desert. Um, We might need double heat resist. We'll We'll find out. We will find out, so I'll meet you over there. No, it looks like we're good. Oh, perfect. All right, this guy's pretty common over here. We see him all the time. So I'm not too stressed about finding one. Let's just go ahead and grab all these chests too while we're out. I mean, why not? Let's see, where are you at? Oh. There's a lot of electric guys over here. It makes it a little dangerous going out on Kyogre. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. We're definitely going to have to get their health down. Is that a male? And oh, come on. All right. Let's work on the other one. Jeez. That's a nice chest. All right. They should both be in range. 
All right, come on, guys. I would assume at night is probably the better time to go out while they're sleeping. But hey, we got them both. All right, that leaves us with, I believe, just Electra Buzz. So for that, let's head on over to the Sanctuary. All right, approaching the Sanctuary. Let's find out if we're going to be lucky enough to get it right away or if I'm going to have to sit here and wait for one to spawn. The last time that I was here, we did not see one. So whether it is a thing or not, I do not know. Uh-oh. Another thing I think in the update is that they always have... Oh, there's one. The criminal activity. All right. I think we got this. All right. Right there. Ultra. Dude, he looks kind of like Zangus. Not going to lie. It's my first time seeing a wild one. We got it. Oh, that is epic. All right. Let's go. I'm going to go grab all the chests and everything that we have over here, too. We have plenty of those guys. And of course, all the flowers. But, guys, we did it. We completed the Paldex. Ooh, um, let me grab another one of these guys, too. I like these. Come here. Awesome. Yeah, this is the uh, the lower level sanctuary. So it makes it a lot easier. Ooh, Artisan. That's nice. All right. Any more? Be nice if we get a male-female combo, but don't know if that's going to be a thing. I'm going to grab all these, as many as I can. Holy crap. Let's get a back bonus. There we go. And beautiful. Any more? It seems like uh, the, the rarest of the rare pals are always in that sort of the second level all the way over to the right. Just where we found him. All right, we got another guy there. I was hoping something would pop up for being the uh, the final pal, but I don't know. There's got to be some type of reward. Or it's probably something on Steam. Hey, buddy. I want to be able to condense those because I like them working on water at our base. All right. Level 50. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. I can't believe it. I'm so happy that where I was able to get that on camera. We also got Pendants of Diligence. I have no idea what that is. High-grade manual, always handy. Was that the 10th one that we caught of this guy? No, it wasn't. All right, I guess you get a little bit of XP every time you catch anything. But hey, guys, we did it! You know what that means. That means we get to make our Jet Dragon saddle, finally! Oh, that is so epic. All right, so I'm going to hang out here uh, just a little bit longer and see if I can get another one to spawn. And will you look at that? We got another one. I don't know if the first one was a male or a female, but... But, uh, boom. Do we got it? Awesome. Got a pair. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. That's everybody. Let's get back to the base. All right. We're back and let's unlock Grizzbolt's minigun. Very cool. And Jet Dragon. Epic. We have six more points. Um, I believe we got a couple of high grade manuals. So let's Go ahead and use those for a few more points. Epic. All right. What else do we definitely want? Um, we want the pylon. Cool. And that leaves me with seven more points to use however I want. So I'll 
I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, this is going to be an important one. But anyway, let's not get into that today. We also can finally get the homing spear launcher Ingram unlocked. Awesome. All right. Um, most importantly, though, let's go ahead and make... Bada boom. Come on, guys. Very cool. I'm super excited to try this guy. I've been wanting to try him for a while. And, uh, yeah, we just never got lucky to find him until today. All right, so I'm going to get that made up. And then the uh, I just want to point out the Jet Dragon's missile launcher. 50 circuit boards. That is crazy expensive, but we had enough. Got it made. We are set. And check it out. All the pals that we captured today. I've already condensed the uh, this dude. And look at that. Male and female Grizzbolt. And we got one of them that has a stat that's perfect. That's pretty cool. And decent stats all around all right let's definitely grab him because we're going to want to try him and let's see who else of importance i grabbed the shiny lamb ball that was chilling out by my base our sui um got male and female for them epic that is our shiny ragnahawk very cool blaze howl we got male and female for the serpent terra very cool wow look at the stats on that one Good lord. We got male and female of Hengu. Catris, not so lucky. Both female. And Masanda Lux Boss. 99 in the health. Wow, that's really good. And a 97 in attack. And then our Broncheri Aqua. Very cool. All right. Um, I would also like to try out today. Where Where is it? Let's see if I can find him. Where the crap? There we go. Jet Dragon. Definitely got to do it. All right. Let's go. Let's grab his saddle. Awesome. All right. And let's try these guys. Um, Grizzbolt, I think I want to try first. So let's jump on over here. Our Grizzbolt isn't as high a level. Oh, and we got stat points. Um, let's go attack. Rounds it off to a nice 120. Look at that. Level 50. Very cool. And perfect timing to take on all the bosses for next uh, episode. All right. Um, let's grab Grizzlebolt. Come here, buddy. Whoa, dude, calm down. All right. So we get to ride him. And then... How do we use his, uh, doesn't he, isn't he supposed to have some, oh, maybe it's just the boss that has the gun. Oh, no, never mind. That is pure awesomeness. That is so epic. It's not super fast. Super epic jump, though. Dude, that is so much fun, and it lasts indefinitely. Holy crap. That is super amazing. All right. We're again, we're only level 19. So let's not go too ham. And those guys would also resist us. Come on. Why is it not firing? Does it use our ammo or something? Tell me it doesn't. Tell me it doesn't. By the way, notice I can't, uh, I cannot shoot while I'm on them. Dude, he's so cool. All right. Is there a cooldown? What is going on? All right, let's dismount for a second. No, he does not use an R ammo. There's got to be some type of cooldown or something. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. See that, that horse there? That's got to be what it is. All right, um, shockwave, very cool. 
And then let's try Spark Blast. <laughs> Not quite enough. There we go. Dude, that is an epic move. Oh, heck yeah. All right, let's dismount. Yeah, it definitely it, it definitely gives off Sand Goose vibes. What an epic pal. And that's kind of like, you know, it's one of the ones that they show off for the game. So I assume it's some of the uh, devs' favorite one. Nope, wrong guy. Kyogre has been our jet dragon, but now we have the official jet dragon. And look at the speed. That is nutty. That is insane. That is super fast and it can fly. Oh my Lord. This is going to make our lives so much easier. So definitely uh, the fastest flying mount in the game. Good God. And this isn't even... What did we get for our... Okay, we have Nimble. So it makes us even a little bit faster. But we're going to get to breed him to make him just ungodly good. What are we looking at? Not the craziest. All right, come here, bro. Dude, I've been waiting so long to try this. It's truly worth the wait. Holy crap, is this good. And it does go through stamina quickly if you do sprint fly, but good lord, that sprint fly is fast. Yeah, I love it. It's too much fun. All right, and... Ready, Mamorest? All right, that didn't aim at the Mamorest. Okay, next, aerial missile. Let's try this. Oh, that is too cool! And we can do it back to back over and over again. That's crazy. That is crazy good. That's really annoying though, how it like, uh, oh, so it's based on the number of shots, I guess. Cause look at when I spam it, it's not time. When I spam it, it runs out faster. It's too much fun though. All right, come here, ma'am, arrest. Let's finish him off. All right, uh, fire ball. Oh, am I out of stamina? Hold on. I got to wait for my stamina to come back. Let's go, buddy. That looks like it hit short. Fireball. Oh, my Lord. All right, Comet Beam. Aerial Missile. Dude, you don't have to wait that long. It's super annoying how it launches them, though. Come on. Oh, no. Gotta wait, gotta wait. Come on, buddy. Gotta wait, gotta wait. Come on, buddy. All right, here we go. And... Why do I never hit with that? It's so annoying! Fireball. Done. All right, beautiful! Well, I do have to say, today has been quite the day i am so incredibly happy we got our perfect suzaku which we didn't even try him did we we've tried him in the past we got our perfect suzaku come here buddy 
Oh, I cannot wait. And um, I've almost got enough pals to condense them all the way. We are super duper close. But yeah, absolutely amazing. I hope to be done with come tomorrow our Lunaris. And that's going to be, I think, when we start on our Anubis breeding. So it should be pretty epic. But anyway, guys, I think on that note... Let's end on a high point. Thank you all so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the daily Battle World awesomeness. And as always, guys, see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.